Now let's head to Southwest Detroit, where border artist Vito Valdez is creating murals to mirror the community, as well as to promote peace, love, and unity. This piece, in fact, that was the cartoon and, and the, the grid, the smaller scale of a piece that I did in, in the Rivera Court, in fact, um, back around the year 2000. It's called The Conquest of the Americas. I have a need to, to make things. I've always loved to, to work with my hands and my mind and think about something. And, but it's usually there's a theme. There's something that's going on, you know, like around me. I'm currently in southwest Detroit, which is right here at the foot of the Ambassador Bridge and historic St. Anne's Church right down the block and the old Michigan Central Station right here. So I, I can look outside here and see all, all, all three of those, those landmarks. I went to St. Anne's School at, as a kid. That, I think, was my first uh, big inspirational kind of drive, I, I think, to make art because I, I would be in church and I'd look up at the stained glass. And the church, it's fabulous church. I've done a lot of uh, public art, sculpture, murals, community grassroots outreach programs that deal with making art in a vacant lot and getting people together, families. And I've tried to kind of have something that, that would help to enrich the neighborhood and get people involved in bringing art as a, a voice for the people. Mark making on, on a wall uh, has, has been with us since the beginning of time. It's you're leaving a statement, a, a, a voice that could stay for years and years. It could be political, it could be social, it could be culturally moving for them because, you know, public art is a platform for dialogue, for trying to understand what's going on here, what are they trying to say, and why are they doing it here. Depending on where that site is of a wall or a, a garden or some sculpture, I like to make things and have a, a great sense of getting lost in, in them too because it's just something that comes and it kind of comes alive and it moves me and causes uh, some contemplation to think about what's happening here. Is this a part of my, my, my psyche that kind of is contained with, within an object? I like to work right now with a lot of recycled materials that I don't have to go to the store and buy. <laughs> and I could just, you know, I mean, there's so much that's thrown out and just there that's still good, like wood. I, I, I like to work with wood, stone, concrete, mosaic, glass, that type of thing, and painting, like the you know mural. I'm doing more sculpture and site-specific site in installations, like the Michigan Native American Memorial. Well, this is um, a dead chief, and he is representative of the Michigan tribes and their elders. And so these go like this in here. And one goes up and one comes down on either side. And when, when it's installed and when I'm done here, I'm going to um, have it mosaic encrusted. So I'll, I'll break up some of this glass here and I'm going to put it around him and all through here, different parts in that, but it, it will still retain that raw skeletal shape. I try to impart something that can stimulate a conversation to cause someone to think. And just take that minute or two and look and feel. As I start to build it, you know, certain things start to, to manifest. The Native American pieces that I'm doing right now, um, they should have you think about land and ownership and, you know, who takes care of that land. And it really kind of helps to know that at one point in time, it was the people that originally had this land and hunted and fished and you know, had clean water, clean air. Right now I have a Knight Foundation matching grant. It's on Ferdinand at Werner. That particular wall, it just had a shield that was done by gang members. So the piece was left unfinished for years. 
and it started to uh, get tagged. And, and so it came back to that where it was at one time. Something that was tagged and then cleaned up and then artwork. And uh, so it's positive and I just took a, a, a spin on it and called it now the Shield of Peace and Nonviolence. It would be great to have a peaceful village for us all to live and work in. And I, I think that's the basic you know, concept of a happy life. It's to have your, your family, your next door neighbor, to be able to help each other to give. And, and when you give, sometimes you, it comes back. Feels good.